Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about uh, evaluating indeterminate forms for limits and quantity chapter. Uh, in specific we will be focusing on 1 plus 1 by 1 plus x is power of 1 by x type form and I will also give you one example of limit extends to infinity type problems. Uh, in the past video we have covered very nice problems which give you really J type problems and we discussed in how to approach them and how to solve them. Let us go further and try to find uh, solve problems related to these types of problems. Okay, so the first example that I want to cover is limit extends to 1 uh, x uh, x raised to the power of cot pi x and we have been asked to evaluate this problem okay so how do we what how should we start as always we should always think about direct substitution if you direct substitute directly substitute this is approaching 1 into cot of pi cot of pi is 1 by tan pi and tan pi is 0 uh, so hence if we approaching 1 into approaching infinity so it is an indeterminate form. Now this should be very obvious, it should flash directly that this is a clear example of 1 plus x to the power of 1 by x type form. So but we, we see x not 1 plus x but here x was approaching 0. So if you remember the formula, uh, this formula was when x approaches 0. So we have to now evaluate what, what it should do so that this becomes uh, in that form is that we can like in the previous video we, sh we force the problem to become the form we want. So we will make it something like this, so that this, this approach is 0 and we will make x minus 1 here into x minus 1 into cot pi x, right. So I hope that this makes sense. So now this becomes E because this was the indeterminate form it becomes e and then we have x minus 1 into cot of pi x but cot of pi x is uh, approaching infinity and this is approaching 0 so we still cannot directly substitute because this is approaching 0 into approaching infinity so this is still indeterminate but very we can very clearly quickly spot that this is e raised power of x minus 1 by tan of pi x limit extends to 1 and what can we do what can we do to make this problem that this goes to 0 so we know that tan pi is already something which is going to 0 so wh what can we do so that we are able to make it into tan x by x form that that to put it simply what should we do to make it tan x by x form so it may not be obvious this is a very beautiful trick for this problem that what you can do is e raised to the power of so let me write what I have done here tan of a minus pi is tan of a this was a trick that you had to use uh, yeah it's a it's a it's a good trick to remember here uh, in tan x by x form that this is a formula that you can apply. So basically subtracted pi without any effect and then this becomes something approaching 0 into something approaching 0 and you multiply and divide by pi. So the answer and this becomes 1 and this becomes 1 which is 1 and hence the answer is e raised to the power of 1 by pi. So I hope that this makes sense and this is useful uh, for you to uh, understand uh, and you will be able to use this for problems. So what we did, the idea is to forcefully create the form you want and then forcefully create the form you want. This has been the consistent theme but you should remember what formula you have to use. Now let us go and take another problem uh, so that you are getting more and more familiar. Okay, so if you do direct substitution, so this is approaching 1 into approaching infinity again, something that we know uh, we have to uh, use some formula to solve this problem. So what we can do in this problem is that we can quickly, we can very quickly 
make the form the way we want it to be. So, for instance, we want this to be a raised power of x plus b raised power of x plus c raised power of x by 3 minus 1 and then we will multiply and divide by the same thing. right so this will simplify this part and this part would go away and become e which is the limit which we have applied because this is approaching 0 and this is approaching 0 and this would become 2 by 3 into a raised power of x plus b raised power of x plus c raised power of x minus 3 by x right and I hope that this is very very obvious now that you have to do something like this which is again uh, is a direct formula and this formula is ln of a plus ln of b plus ln of c and this is e raised power of 2 by 3 ln of a b c and this is nothing but a b c raised power of 2 by 3. I really really like this problem and I think this gives you a very very nice feel of J E problems and I mean what we have done is again forcefully creating what we want and the rest follows very naturally. Practice this problem if you did not follow it in the first step just do it again and try to understand how to solve this problems. Practicing these problems is the only way you will be able to do these problems properly. Uh, similar here,ly when we got, we didn't have something like x minus one. We created x minus one, and then we saw this, uh, and then we remembered, okay, we can create using formula of tan this x minus pi as tan x, and so on. So I hope that this makes sense, uh, and that you are able to uh, appreciate what kind of problems will come in JE and how we'll be able to solve them. Uh, and let's now look at the limit extends to infinity type problem. I just wanted to go over through this once. I have gone over this once in uh, another video, but just so that you can refresh your memory and remember this trick is that whenever you see limit extends to infinity and you see polynomials or some form of polynomials, in this case x square plus 3x plus 1 plus 5x by 1 plus 4x and you have been asked to evaluate the limit in uh, limit if you directly substitute here this would be infinity by infinity type problem and to, s to solve such problem you should remember whenever you see infinity and it is a polynomial type function divide by the highest power of x. So in which case the highest power of x is 1 x square by square root 1. So when we divide by highest power x both numerator and denominator then this is and this is equal to And in this case, this will go to 0, this will go to 0, this will go to 0 and the answer would be 3 by 2. So this is a trick that you should remember uh, and I would really encourage if you can memorize this and practice the problems whenever you come, just divide by the highest power of x and whenever you see x is equal to infinity. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, in the next video, we will be got talking about the super important series expansion for limits and continuity. Uh, so I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.